Hey everybody, welcome to your four card spread for the waning cycle of the moon for February the 5th, 2021. And uh, so I've pulled four cards for us, for you, uh, for the tribe, so that you can get a bit of clarity around what you need to do in the next two weeks because the waning cycle of the moon is the two weeks um, that happen after the full moon. So uh, as we move into the next phase of the moon, which is the new moon, uh, later on next week, this phase, this week, is all about releasing and letting go. Um, because after the full moon, that's what we're doing. We're getting uh, ready to charge up again for the new moon, uh, which is coming next week. So our four cards. Our first card is what do I need to release or what do you need to release? So I've pulled a card for you. Our second card is what will help me to do that releasing work. Uh, the card number three is what will help me to accept and surrender. And the fourth card is the final outcome. And you usually put these four cards into the shape of a diamond. So you can see that card number one goes at the top, card number two, card number three, and card number four. So that's how you would lay out the spread as you're pulling them. And you can either shuffle the cards and ask your question and then put the card down, or you can ask the questions and then you can shuffle them and just put them down one, two, three, four. It's up to you, it doesn't matter. Um, some people also like to do a splitting of the deck. So you might shuffle, 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 then split the deck and turn over the card that you want to do, or you can turn over the top card. So there's lots of different ways, but basically what you want to do is go with your intuition, go with your gut. And uh, the beautiful Moonology card deck is the one that I use for these Moonology card readings because they are bringing in the energy of the moon and I'm really feeling that um, over the last few months you'll notice that I've been doing the card readings with this particular deck from Yasmin Boland and you can actually use any deck you like so you can still do that card spread that that diamond shaped card spread with any deck of cards but I like to use the moonology cards because I'm purposely doing them at the time of the full moon the new moon and then the waxing and the waning moon just so that you know um, that you've got something to focus on each week so as I said this is the waning cycle card reading uh, so our first card is answering the question what do I need to release and we have a beautiful card as our first card you might have seen my post earlier with the pictures of the cards but I'll show you this is the beautiful first card as you can see it is a new moon card and so our message is a new start is coming so this is fantastic because anytime there's a new moon or we're coming up to a new moon the energy is all about beginnings so you are obviously we're in a cycle right now of um, releasing anything that you need to release from either last year if you're still working on things that need to be released from last year or if you need to release anything that's come up in the first few months of this year um, we're already into the second month can you believe it it's already February so our message for this particular time this week is a new start is coming so you might feel like there's things that need to be tied up some loose ends that need to be tied up some things that need to be finished and then you'll be able to start your new project remember also a little quick reminder we are in mercury retrograde until the 21st of february so that means that anything that you are looking to start yes a new start is is coming but remember that mercury retrograde is all about reviewing the past 
and you might need to go back and actually um, you know pick up something that you started a little while ago and put down I know there's a lot of things from last year that I started before COVID sort of hit and then I started doing something else something different and so it, now would be a good time to go back to things that maybe you started before the pandemic sort of hit the world and you could re-pick that up and start that again so now in a mercury retrograde time it's a really good time to pick things up you've already started and finish them um, rather than um, starting something absolutely new so that is kind of unique to this particular reading this particular time normally a new moon would be about something starting something completely fresh but because this particular card is coming up now that is my advice to you is to have a look at things that you were looking at you know I know I started writing a new book um, just before um, COVID uh, happened and then I got all distracted and everything was happening in the world and I, I haven't actually picked it up again so now would be a good time to pick up those things and start doing them again because a new start is coming the second card is answering the question what will help me so what will help you at this time is taking action so the the new moon in Aries card is all about taking action so now is the time to get out there and take action now that could be as simple as making a phone call it could be as um, you know complex as you know leaving a relationship or leaving a job or you know something big but taking action can be as tiny as adding one thing into your diet that you don't normally eat that will make you feel a bit healthier or taking out something that you feel like you would like to remove from your diet or from your life for example it could be something really little so you know don't you don't have to do big things but taking action moves you forward so whatever it is that you've been procrastinating about now is the time to step in and take that action so this is what's really going to help you in this phase of the waning moon as we come up to the new moon of February which is next week so here we go take some action this week our third card is the question that you're answering is what will help me to accept and surrender so what will help you to accept and surrender this week is interestingly we've got the waning moon and that is all about releasing so not only are we doing a waning moon cycle card reading you've also got the waning moon card so that means it's doubly important this week to work on your releasing releasing anything that you feel is not serving you at the moment so the beautiful waning moon I love this card it's so beautiful with the snow and the um, the, moon, the half the almost quarter moon it's gorgeous so be in that space of, of understanding that there's always going to be times when we need to release, let go, surrender. So, and the, the best way that you can release, let go and surrender is to um, trust that this is the, mo the best way to, to find your way. So, one of the things that I do to work on surrendering and letting go and releasing is I like to do um, meditations. Um, I have meditations that I have recorded that are on my website, pipcoleman.com um, backslash store. You can see my um, meditations there um, or they're five minute meditations so they're nice and easy to, to try or you might like to go onto an app like the Calm app and try some of their meditations. You might like to try Deepak Chopra, um, and he's got some amazing meditations that he does with Oprah Winfrey. And uh, there's amazing uh, meditations by David G. And the, the Hay House website has lots of um, cool um, meditations as well about releasing and letting go. The main thing is to bring yourself as much as you possibly can back into the present moment. Because one of the things that happens when we get caught up in the future or we get caught up in the past is that we hold on to stuff. So particularly if you are holding on to things from the past, 
you really really won't you'll have trouble letting go because that's what um, that whole concept of not letting go is all about is that you know clenching and and you know trying to uh, to stop things from being how they actually are so what I would suggest to you is to um, practice being as present as you possibly can and that is what meditation is all about being present being mindful being in the moment even if you are walking on the beach if you're walking the dog if you are swimming running if you are sitting in meditation if you're just sitting and watching the trees right now there's a thunderstorm going on um, not here you can see the sun's right here but there's thunder and lightning going on um, you know along the coast here so um, you can sit and just listen and be in the moment listen to the sound of the crickets the cicadas um, the birds the um, the traffic moving past as long as you are being present you're in the present moment you are able to release and surrender what happened in the past and release and surrender what might happen in the future because that's what it's all about so that is your guidance for how to accept and the final outcome for this uh, week's energy of the waning moon cycle is take time to breathe out how gorgeous is the color of this card so gorgeous so the disseminating moon is um, the card that reminds us to take time to breathe out so it's time not to be breathing in and hyperventilating and and getting all worked up it's now is the time to relax to breathe out so if you have been feeling like you're just really really holding your breath maybe maybe you've been holding your breath and a lot of times when we're stressed we do tend to hold our breath. We tend to get really tight across the chest. Our bellies tend to get quite tight as well. So if you feel like that's what's going on physically, then it might actually be time for you to do some, some breath work. And one of the things that I teach my meditation class, and I do have a breathing meditation on my website, um, pipcoleman.com backslash store. You can have a look at the, the five minute meditation that I have for breathing. But one of the exercises that is really helpful if you wanna learn how to breathe out and let go of that tension, that holding, is to, when you breathe in, you count for four, so you breathe in for four, one, two, three, four, and you hold for one, two, three, four, and then when you breathe out, you breathe for six. And the idea is to spend more time breathing out than you do breathing in, and that way you actually start to get your body and your brain to get into that, that mental and physical and emotional state of letting go and releasing. So. That little practice that breathing in for four holding for four and releasing for six is actually a really um, cool yoga technique actually and you can practice breathing out for longer than six if you want to you can breathe out for eight um, whatever you like the longer that you breathe out for the better so that's a little practice that you can try if you're feeling like you're holding on and you're just really struggling with um, holding on to the past and not accepting and letting go so this um, is just a little reminder that it's time to breathe out you don't have to hold on anymore you can actually let go so our four beautiful cards for today for the waning moon cycle were the gorgeous a new start is coming yay the fabulous it's time to take action so take some action towards that new goal that thing that you're wanting to start the fabulous what is it that you need to release get clear the more clear that we are the better the easier it is to release and the third card is take a breath out take a long breath out and uh, that is really important so, some beautiful cards today, and uh, as I say, using the Moonology deck from Yasmin Boland, which I love. And uh, take care, have a fabulous week. Next week I'll be talking about the new moon. And uh, if you have any questions, if you would like to book in a personal reading or some coaching, please feel free to get in touch. Love to hear from you, and hope you're having a fabulous week. 
and I'm gonna um, get ready for the next lot of rain that's coming because I can feel the thunder of the lightning is heading my way so bye for now from Phillip Island take good care of yourselves and I'll see you very soon bye